OK, that minus sign. That means we have the quotient rule. So what this is going to equal, what the original problem says is log base 10, but we don't write the 10. So log of, and the argument is x squared plus 3x minus 10. And notice that my math lab uses parentheses here because there are three separate terms. Okay in the argument, so it's necessary to enclose all of them. Log of x squared plus 3x minus 10 minus log of x squared minus 25. That's going to give you the log of x squared plus 3x minus 10 over x squared minus 25. Now, it says, the instructions say, express as a single logarithm. Okay, we did that. We squished it together and now it's one logarithm and if possible, simplify. That means factor and cancel. So we will have the log of We're gonna be factoring. So let's see, x squared plus 3x minus 10, uh, negative 10 equals negative 5 times positive 2. Okay, I'll just write it up here. Negative 5 times positive 2. That's what negative 10 equals. And ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, no. That would give me negative 3. I need positive 3. So, slight alteration of plans. Positive 5 times negative 2. And then over here we get the 3 by adding the 5 and the negative 2. Cool. So, our numbers are going to be plus 5 minus 2 on top, x plus 5 times x minus 2. There. Okay, on the bottom we have the difference of two squares, x, x, 5, 5, plus, minus. Now x plus 5 and x plus 5 cancel out, and so our final answer is log of x minus 2 over x minus 5. Good, we have work. This, this will show you what the um, order of operations is, if you will, for logarithms. We go from the outside in. Okay, so we're going to be using multiple rules here together. The first one, is we work with the most easily identifiable thing about this problem. You have a numerator 
and you have a denominator. That means the very first rule you're going to use is the quotient rule. Log, log base B. of P squared times Q to the seventh minus log base P B of M to the third B to the seventh. That's the quotient rule. All right, now notice that within each argument, you have multiplication going on. This is P squared times Q to the seventh. This is M cubed times B to the seventh. Are they both to the seventh? Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to use the product rule. log base B. Let me make sure that's a B. Yep, okay. Log base B of P squared plus log base B of Q to the seventh minus log base B of M to the third plus log base B of B to the seventh. And that is the product rule. Why did I capitalize quotient rule? I have no idea. I suppose the, the proper thing to do since they're the names, they're proper names, I should capitalize all of them, but I didn't do it. Don't tell any English teachers. OK, now I'm going to use the quotient rule. Um, I am not. I'm lying to you. I'm going to use the power rule. That will bring all of these exponents down in front. OK. Three, uh, 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 that's a two. Two times log B of P plus seven times log B of Q minus, notice that I'm um, keeping these in brackets because there's so much going on, it just helps to keep them separated like that. I know that everything in here is the same as everything in there is the same as everything in here. And everything in here is the same as everything in there. This minus sign is going to be applying to everything in here, and eventually I'm going to distribute the minus sign into this set of brackets. But right now I'm working one step at a time. It's a big mistake to try to do everything at once. So here we'll have three times log base B 
of M plus seven times log base B of B. But log base B of B is what? It's one. So, let's take care of that. This is one. Seven times one is seven. Okay, so let me write power rule. And I honestly don't know if log base B of B equals one, if that's got a rule name or if it's just, it's just true. Okay, so here we go. Two times log base B of P plus seven times log base B of Q. Now I'm going to distribute the minus sign. Minus three log B of M minus seven. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our answer. But I need to write distribution because that's the step I used here. I distributed, right? So, distribution. Make that smaller. There. So the first thing I did was, see I'm working with the bigger parts and then the sub parts, and then the sub sub parts. So here I'd use the quotient rule to separate the top from the bottom. Then I use the product rule because I have arguments in which uh, multiplication is going on. So I use the product rule here and here. Then because I have exponents, I use the power rule here and here. And in the process discovered that log base B of B, ooh, that's nice, it's one. And then I distributed that second um, minus sign. And you could think of it as, yeah, well, there's like an invisible one out there, so I'm distributing that as well. You could think of it that way. Um, and then this is your answer. This is your solution right here. Okay. Now here's another hard one. And you're going to have to remember the stuff from uh, Roots and Radicals that we worked on. We reviewed those at the very beginning or maybe when we were solving radical equations. But either way, I'm going to rewrite this so it's more understandable. 
this this is log base C of the cube root of x to the fifth over y to the third z to the seventh. Okay, and this is my argument. Now, whenever you have a radical, Remember, you can write it as a rational fraction power. So this is log base C of X to the fifth over Y to the third Z to the seventh in parentheses to the one third power. And the parentheses are absolutely necessary here because that one third power applies to the whole thing because this entire fraction here was underneath the cube root radical. All right, so keeping on, that's what the equals is. It equals all this junk up here. Okay, now I am going to use the power rule to bring that one third down in front. One third log base C of x to the fifth over y to the third times c to the seventh. Okay, now looking a little bit ahead, I'm now going to have to use the quotient rule and I'll be taking log base c of this minus log base c of this but one third is going to apply to all of that. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to do something you really haven't had to do very much since pre-algebra. When you were studying order of operations. And that is use braces. Here's my goal. There's so much that's going to be going on in this problem. I'm going to be using braces. And then brackets. And then parentheses. Okay, just so you know, just so you remember that when we're using parentheses, 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 that's so confusing. So what we do is all we do is we're changing the shape. Yeah, that's too confusing. That way you can look at it and see, okay, I close that paren, I close that paren, I close that paren. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. So, this is going to be one third bracket log base C of X to the fifth minus log base C of Y to the third times Z to the seventh. That's what I've got right now. And 
and then there's a product here. Oops. Yeah, that's why I needed to use braces. Um, I've been doing this problem a lot in all my different classes. And I discovered I really have to use all three. Why? Because I'm going to be using the product rule in here because multiplication is going on later. Come back later. Multiplication is going to be going on in this argument. So I'm going to have to put brackets around that. Because I'll have log base C of Y to the third plus log base Z, uh, log base C of Z to the seventh in there. And then the minus sign will apply to both. OK, just so you know what's going on. So I'll have one third. Brace. Log base C. Of X to the fifth. Minus bracket. Log base C. Of Y to the third. plus log base C of C to the seventh. Bracket closed, brace closed. All right, now, before I distribute I'm going to use the power rule to bring down all my exponents. So I'll have one third brace five times log base C of X minus bracket three log base C of Y plus seven log base C of Z. In Europe, that's pronounced Z. And I've had lots of math teachers who use Z, but I refuse. It's too much of a change. OK, now onward. Now we're going to distribute this minus sign. We haven't applied the one third yet, but we will. Patience. Log base C. Of X. Minus three log base C of Y minus this minus times plus is minus seven times log base C of Z. Now I really don't need any internal, um, I don't need those brackets anymore so I've just got braces, so I could change to brackets, but let's not, really. I've got two more steps. I am now going to distribute the one third to every term. So I will have one third times five times log base C of X minus one third times three times log base C of Y minus one third times 
times 7 times log base C of Z. And now I don't need any braces or brackets because I was, you see, I have to wait till the very bitter end to distribute that one third to every term in the braces. Now all I have to do is multiply them together. One third times five is five thirds times log base C of X minus one third times three is one. So this is log base C of Y minus one third times seven is seven thirds times log base C of Z. Ta da. And I just didn't have room. I had to squish some steps together here. So like there are two steps here. I use the power rule to get the one third in front. Then I use the quotient rule. Then I use the product rule. Then I use the power rule. Then I use distribution. Then I use distribution. Then I used multiplication. And I could have written the rules I used down here, but like I said, there are two up here that I, I had to, to save room. I should have put this problem on its own entire page. And I'll remember that for next semester, I hope. Okay, let us see. Now I know you've got questions about this and the only way they're gonna get answered is for you to sit and work on this and copy each step and, and figure out why it was done. This is the kind of stuff you have to really apply yourself to and work. This is probably the most important part, the most important stuff today that you can learn is these rules. Because we're going to be applying them on Monday and Wednesday. And then I won't see you again. I mean, I'll get your your final exams. or I'll work with you online. But hey, one more week and it's over. Woo! For many of you, this is the last class you need before you graduate. Try to end well. OK, I'm going to get you started on this one. This is the log of the square root of B to the seventh times C. The first thing you do when you have a radical is you figure out what kind of radical. We had a cube root up here, so we use the one third power. We've got a square root down here, so we use the one half power. Okay, then I'm going to see if I have room. One half 
using the power rule to bring this one half down in front, times log of b to the seventh times c, And then I need brackets around this because I'm go going to use the power rule. One half times the log of b to the seventh plus the log of c. I guess I'm not just getting you started. Then I'm going to use the power rule to bring that seven down in front. One half bracket, seven times the log of B plus the log of C. Close bracket. Now I'm going to distribute the one half. So I'll have one half times seven times log base b, these are puzzles, plus one half times log of c. And one half times seven is seven halves. So seven halves times the log of b plus one half times the log of C. And here's your answer. So the first thing we did, I do have room here to use the power rule. Product rule. Uh, power rule distribution and your answer. Okay, we've got four minutes. Let's do one of these. The last two problems are smooshed together. All of these have been take apart. Now we're gonna smoosh. Now we're gonna smoosh. I like to smoosh. All right, now we kind of go backwards. This is going to equal log base A to the one half plus log of B. That this is log base 10. So log of A to the one half plus log of B to the third. Okay, so I use the power rule there. And here I'm, well, all right. Now I'm gonna use the product rule. This will be log of A to the one half times B to the third. So that's the product rule. I can't use the product rule until I have log of an argument plus log of an argument. So that's why I had to put these powers up first. All right, now, anything raised to the one half power is a square root. So this is going to be log of the square root of A times B to the third 
and I, I could make up a name. <laughs> I could make up a name. I'm not gonna. Um, and then log. When we have a radical and something multiplied by something not under the radical, we move that in front. So b to the third times the square root of a. And there's your answer. And then finally, yeah, let's do this. We have to smoosh this together. This is already smooshed, the first term. Second term, though, is not. All right, this four is going to have to come up here. So we're going to have the ln of x to the sixth minus the ln of the fourth root of x to the fourth power. And of course, a fourth root and a fourth power, they undo each other. So this is going to be the ln of x to the sixth over, this is just gonna be x. So x to the sixth over x to the one is the ln of x to the 6 minus 1. So that's the ln of x to the 5th. This looked the worst by far, and um, it actually ended up being the easiest to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen and peeps, Um, I might as well do this, but you all are free to go. And I'll finish this up so that you'll have a complete video and complete notes of your homework and how to do it. And um, if you have questions about any of this, hang around. Or if you just want to watch and you can, just hang around. At 9 o'clock, I'll be jumping over to the help room. So I may go to the restroom, my bathroom first. OK. So this is going to be the ln of 8 minus the ln of 7 times x to the 7th times y. Ah. Oh. Time to take allergy medicine. The ln of 8 minus, OK, now I'm going to have to use the product rule here. The ln of 7 plus the ln of x to the 7th plus the ln of y. Now you can take another step and and bring your seven down in front of that LN, or you could just say, well, what the heck? I know that I could just write the seven down here and so erase the seven there and put it down here. I want to keep my steps separate because many of you are learning and everybody learns at a different rate. All right, so one more, ln 7 plus, bring that 7 down, 7 ln x plus the ln of y. Now I distribute that minus sign there and there and there. So I will have the ln of 8 minus the ln of 7. No, that's not the ln of 1. Plus 7 times the ln of x 
Ah, 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 ah. I'm distributing. My poor cats, when they hear that sound, it means don't do it. But I talk to myself the same way I talk to my cats. All right, minus and minus. There. There. See, and it says we're supposed to express in terms of sums and differences. So I'm not going to use the quotient rule here. You know, I would have the ln of 8 over 7. They, they would not be happy. They would be very unhappy with me. So rather than get a wrong answer, I'm just going to do what they say. All right, this is it. Questions. I expect that you'll have a lot. But thank goodness you have all, all um, um, weekend to learn this. You don't. You have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days to learn this. The value of flashcards is you can take them with you wherever you go. Take them to work and flash them out ever so often. OK, if there are no questions, I'll talk to you later and you can find me in the help room starting at nine o'clock ish. Bye bye.